Welcome. In this video, we are going to see the data transfer operation in 8051. So in this experiment, basically what we are going to do is we are going to copy the data from internal RAM memory location to another internal RAM memory location. So here we have considered two blocks. One is the source block and the other one is the destination block. So the source block is having the addresses from 30H to 34H whereas the destination block is having addresses from 40h to 44h so whatever data is present in this source block now in this case it is this data uh, which is stored on the address locations of the source block so once we execute the program all these values or the data present at these memory locations should be copied to the destination address locations right now the destination address locations all are having value 00h so these 00h values will be replaced by the values that are present in the source block so that is the expected outcome of this uh, particular experiment now uh, before moving ahead i will just explain the logic for this program so whenever we want to transfer the data from uh, one so uh, memory location to another memory location we have different type of instructions but now in this case we are going to uh, copy the data from sequential memory locations in ram to another sequential locations in again in ram so in this case it is better to use pointers so here we will use uh, r0 pointer to point to the source uh, addresses and r1 register to point to the uh, destination addresses so we have to initialize the pointer r0 to the starting address of source block that is 30h and we have to initialize the r1 pointer to the uh, destination block which is having starting address as 40h after that we have to copy the first byte from uh, the source address to let's say accumulator and from accumulator i have to copy it back to the destination uh, address which is pointed by r1 register that is nothing but 40h then after that i have to point the uh, pointer to the next memory location so r0 should point to the 31h address location and r1 should point to the 41h address location so for this i can simply increment the both the pointers now again i have to just copy only 5 bytes from source block to the destination block so to keep track of how many bytes we have copied we have to use one counter so we can store that count value of 5 in one more register let's say r2 so r2 is basically going to have the value 5 and whenever we copy a single number from source to destination at that time this counter will be decremented by 1 so this program will execute 5 times so that all the 5 bytes from source will be copied to the destination now we will see the actual implementation of this program in Keel Microvision 4 software so I have already written the program in this software uh, if you don't know the process of how to write the program or how to use this software then there is another video which explains how to use this software which is available in my playlist so now uh, we have this first instruction as org 008 this is nothing but the assembler directive org stands for origin and 00 is the starting address of the program and this address is of rom memory then next instruction is move r0 comma hash 30h and move r1 comma hash 40h these two instructions we have used to initialize the pointers so here we are going to use r0 pointer to point to the source block and r1 pointer to point to the destination block so the starting address of source block is 30h that's why we have put 30h in r0 using this instruction and we have used this instruction move r1 comma 40h to copy the value 40h in r1 register so that r1 will point to the starting address of destination block then we have used this instruction that is move r2 comma hash 05h so with this this 5 value will be copied to r2 and why we have taken 5 because we want to 
copy 5 bytes from source block to the destination block. Then after that the next instruction is move a comma at the rate r0. So with this instruction the value that is present at the memory location pointed by r0 will be copied to accumulator. So the first value from the source block will be copied to accumulator. Then using this instruction the uh, value that is present in accumulator will be stored at the memory location pointed by R1 register. So R1 is right now pointing to the first address location of destination block. Then after that we have incremented both the pointers to point to the next memory locations in the respective blocks. So R0 is pointing to source block and R1 is pointing to the destination block. Then using this instruction d gen z r2 comma back we have decremented the uh, value of r2 by 1 uh, because we have co copied a single byte from source to destination and if the value in r0 is uh, sorry r2 is not equal to 0 then it will jump to the label back so this is a label so it will jump to this position and it will repeat the instructions from this position onwards so this program which is highlighted right now will repeat until the value in R2 becomes 0 and once the value in R2 becomes 0 this condition or this instruction will be false and it will not jump to this label back instead it will execute the next instruction so in our case the program will stop so just by changing this value which is present in R2 we can decide how many bytes from source block we can copy to the destination block so that is uh, the explanation about the program now we'll see the uh, actual simulation of the program all right so this is the uh, debug environment so we have to first of all put the values in the source block so for that we have to type here d then colon then the starting address of the source block in this case it is 30h so then click on enter then this is the 30h address this is 31 this is 32 33 and 34 so on these five locations we have to put some values let's say 45 06 or 25 75 then let's say ad okay so these are the five values so uh, once i execute this program all these five values should be copied to the destination address so the destination address is 40h right now it is having all zeros now if i want to run this program i have to just click on this run button so all the values from source block will be copied to the destination block so if i click on this you can see that all the values which were there at the source block are now copied to this destination block so in this way we can copy the values from source block to destination block using this program thank you